Hello legends, it is your boy Link and today is Ipswich Town back at Portman Road against Everton. Hello my legends, it is your boy Link. Welcome back to another Ipswich Town vlog. It's Ipswich versus Everton. The blue shite is what I affectionately know them as. Um, most people who watch the channel will know I'm a Liverpool fan, I have an Ipswich season ticket, I love Ipswich town but I'm a Liverpool fan. So today is a game that I really, 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 really want to win. Like, I want to beat Everton so bad. Like, it's like, for me this feels like a derby even though it's not a derby. Because I hate Everton. So I'm really hoping for a good game. Ipswich are actually the bookies favourites to win today which is amazing although there's all sorts of injuries you know what I mean um, there was a picture put on Wes Burns' Instagram from the I think the physio room and it looks like it's leaked the injury list so it looks like Greaves is out I don't know if that will come true or not it's 11 o'clock I haven't found any team news yet that says whether he is or isn't going to play um, I think Dara Shea is a slight doubt um, just Kuyust is probably still out and then Axel Twanzebe was doing the washing up and he nearly cut his thumb off so Axel Twanzebe could be out for the season we're hearing um, I know people are thinking like oh it's just his thumb but Kieran McKenna said that although your thumb isn't that important for playing football it's really important for life so they have to handle his recovery properly so yeah, it's a big shame that Twan Zabie's got that problem. He's been playing fantastic. And he was a big miss at the West Ham game. Really noticed he wasn't there. <sighs> international break's over. I hate the international break. But um, I'm excited about Tuchel as well. Let me know what you think of Thomas Tuchel in the comments. Do you think England should have a German manager? Do you think they should have a manager that isn't English? For me personally... I think the rule should be that you have to have a manager from your country. But because they're not the rules, might as well just get the best one that's out there. And of the unemployed managers today, Tuchel is the second best for me behind Rafa Benitez. But there's a little bit of bias there maybe, but I think he'll do well. I think he'll be good for England. But we'll see. But today... England doesn't matter, it's not about England today, it's not about Thomas Tuchel, it's about Ipswich beating Everton. Also, it is the delegated no room for racism fixture today, so there's a tribute in the programme to Ali Al Hamadi, um, I'm wearing his shirt today, I've got a hoodie on though because it's absolutely freezing and wet and cold, but yeah, should be a good game, I'm excited for it. Can't wait to get down to Portman Road. So for lunch, I decided to go for a Burger King. XL bacon double cheese as always. And you got to have the sweet chilli dip. Although it's not the Heinz one now, it's now a Burger King one. It's not quite as good, I don't think. Walking into the stadium now. And it stopped raining, so it might not get wet, hopefully. But yeah, I'm still predicting a 3-1 win. Can't remember if I mentioned that yet or not. But I just woke up and I fancied it. I might sound really silly at full time. But yeah, I woke up and I thought, we'll have these. Ten. Guys, you have a problem. Turnstile 23 is closed. <laughs> so that's the lucky turnstile. So when Ipswich don't win today, it's not my fault, it's the clubs. Don't blame the players, don't blame McKenna, don't blame VAR. Blame them for not opening turnstile 23. Chris has very kindly let me use his phone to show you the team. Um, for me, that looks like a back three. I think it'll be those three at the back. Davis wing back, Burns right wing back. And then Hutchinson Clark playing like wide tens and two sitting midfielders. I don't think that'll be a back four. If it is, it, I don't think it'll be Wolfie right back. It'll be O'Shea right back, but we'll see. But is the Everton team out as well? Yeah, they're all shit. Don't want about any of them. B grade players. Jordan Pickford's only got little arms. Back at Portman Road. Let's go, and there's flame cannons again. 
as always, because it's the Premier League now. So we've got one of my least favourite referees, Mark Oliver, here today. Lots of people think he's the best English referee, but I think he's awful. And he hates Liverpool. I don't know if he hates all Scousers and it might be good for Ipswich, or if he just hates Liverpool. So we'll find out. It's your main man. A little crazy. And then Pickford's warming up over there, and I've got to say, well, he's not now. He was, but he didn't impress me at all. So we'll probably score at least six. Here comes the players over there. Fireworks in full effect. I keep missing the fireworks, but there is fireworks as well. To be fair, I'll give Everton fans a lot of stick this video so far, but they booed the Premier League anthem, so I'm here for that. It's the no room for racism fixture today, so there's a different board out. But yeah, the Everton fans are loud, fair play to them. I didn't expect anything less, to be fair, but... Let's go town, come on. I'm confident. Michael Oliver's already given town throw and changed his mind. God, I hate that referee. So this is a short pass from Calvin Phillips, loses the ball. Calvert Lewin gets in one on one. You think he's going to score, but Murich does his job, love it. Everton corner now, but it's a good start from both sides, end to end. Oh dear. Town win the ball back. They give it away, so West Burns has it in the box, he's trying to play instead of clearing the ball and Everton capitalised, I'm not even sure who scored, but it's not good, not good. It's been a good game so far, the worst players have been the two keepers and also Michael Oliver. I'll predict a 3-1 though, so here comes the town comeback. The town free kick in a half decent position, it's been all Everton since the goal till now. Come on town, get it back in. Corner. Corner's about to come in, I feel there's going to be a goal here. Bang. Oh, that's boring. Michael Oliver, I said he was a brilliant referee, didn't I? I told you, best referee in the country. Here we go with all that VAR nonsense. I hate VAR. Michael Oliver has been sent to the new monitor. the pen no another turn decision no foul wow just like the Everton shot at Liverpool 1, it's Everton 2. Oh dear. Poor defender from a corner again, you know. Few chances to clear it. And you pay the price at this level. Town free kick in a nice position, but... Oh, I wasn't too bad, but nothing doing. Six minutes of out of time, thanks to VAR, we love that. Not. Still 2-0 Everton. 
might be the best song I've ever heard of Portland Rose. Gripping your pillow tight. Second half's about to start. Town needs to be better. First half, they made Everton look like Real Madrid. VAR didn't help. Michael Oliver didn't help, but silly mistakes at the back. You know, got to clear the ball. I also think for the header, O'Shea could put it out for a corner and just end the problems. So there's stuff to work on. Muric has lost the ball a few times, scuffed one and it went for a corner. So big improvements needed. Good old Ashley Young. I can't believe he's still playing, to be fair to him. But also, Everton fans, incredible so far. Singing about Kevin Campbell and stuff, top notch they've been. So as much as I've ripped them in this video, respect. But yeah, the second half has to be at least twice as good as it was for town for them to have any hope of getting anything from this. Really does. I think I'm filming this in hope more than expectation. But it's a town corner. Oh, that was a throw, to be fair. 15 minutes left, this is Town Corner. Town have been building pressure now, playing a little bit better. Made a few changes. Smodix is on, Chaplin's on, Harry Clark's on at fullback, which I think's made a big difference. O'Shea was okay, but he's not really a right back. Well done. Oh, that was close. That was close. So another town corner, Leaf Davis from the left, which is a bit different. But I'm here for it, if it works. I like in swingers against Pickford because he's not the tallest, but... Close again. Precious building, come on town. To be fair, the Everton fans have been brilliant. And Everton have probably deserved the win on the whole of the game, but it's a shame. To be fair, their fans are great. Everton have won 2-0, they deserve to. I can't wait to see that very hard decision again. Got a bit far at the end. A few big tackles from like Taylor and Morsey, a bit of frustration, but Oh, it's a painful one because Town were in and around it, but it just didn't happen for them. It's a real shame. Real shame. So, I'm not filming this until 9.55. Um, drove for a couple of drinks after the game. Then I had a kebab. And then I just didn't want to think about the game again. It was really frustrating on about 10 counts. So, I don't want us to become too negative because there was definitely good moments for Ipswich, especially that last 20 minutes. Once they made the changes, I think Harry Clark, Taylor, Amari moving to the right worked better. Um, Schmodix, not that Clark was bad, but Schmodix, I don't know, he's just, I like his sort of grittiness, which helped as well. But the problem was, Michael Oliver. So many small calls going wrong. Throw-ins. Little fouls. Bookings. I think Calvin Phillips should have been sent off. I don't know if that... I haven't seen anyone else say that. But there's a tackle in the first half where his foot's quite high. And, you know, I was sat with my mate Chris and we said, that was unnecessary. And then there's another one where he just comes in the back of someone who's running away from goal. And again, it's unnecessary. It's a petty foul to stop an attack. So for me, that's two yellows. So I actually think... I don't think Michael Oliver was really bad in a way that he ruined the game for Ipswich. I just think he ruined the game. And also, he the penalty, I haven't seen it back. But from where I say it looked like a penalty. But... Um, everyone else I spoke to was just like, no, 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 
it was fine. It was fine. Um, everyone else that looked at that from any other angle was like, no, nah, it wasn't a penalty. He's basically kicked the back of his leg. So, fair play. But that's another mistake from Michael Oliver, even though there was the whole VAR drama. I hate VAR. Let's get rid of it. I've had enough of it. It's not consistently good enough. Today it worked, but like three minutes we sat there. Three minutes just sat there waiting to know what happened. And then they played the replay in the stadium, but it was literally like a 10 second clip with one angle. And most of the people in the stadium didn't even know it was getting played on the, on the screen. So they weren't looking. So most people didn't see the replay. I kind of half saw it, but I didn't see it properly. <sighs> it was just poor. A lot of 50-50s where I think some of the town players could have maybe put their body on the line a touch more. I know it's easier to say that than to actually do it, but I would like to have seen a little bit more competitiveness from them. It was just it was a frustrating game, and it's a game that I thought Ipswich could really win. First half, we made it Everton look like Real Madrid. Calvert Lewin looked like prime, like R9. How was Calvert Lewin looking that good? I know he's a decent player, but just he went, he went, he won probably 80% of the headers off the top of my head. I'd love to know the actual stat if anyone's got it, comment it below. But just felt like Calvin Phillips, Calvin, keep going to say Calvin Phillips, Calvert Lewin. Won every 50 50, he won every header. You know, there's long balls, and he's <laughs> we're putting such little pressure on the ball that he's chesting it down and he's jumping and chesting it down like it's like a head high ball. You can't let a striker do that without a little nudge, a little push. You know, you get around him and get your head on it, but it was awful just in so many ways. It was a big lack of imagination. Um, people criticising Muric I thought Muric was good He, <laughs> I know I said earlier in the video that I think one of the keepers will make a mistake Muric <laughs> distribution wise was maybe a bit iffy but shot stopping I thought he was incredible he saved like three one on ones you can't argue with that from a keeper but on the whole it wasn't good enough and I'm quite sad that Ipswich didn't get anything out of today because it's one of them games that at the end of the season, you know, if Everton finish 17th and you finish 18th, you're going to look at that and that's, could be a six-pointer, you know. That could be the difference between going down and staying up, even at this early stage of the season. It's just seems to regroup. The injury situation is a problem. Like, you know, Twan Zabie nearly cut his finger off apparently. Whilst doing the washing up, someone get the get the guide. Well, no, get yourself a dishwasher axle, you know, because it's expensive. But on the whole, it's disappointing. Everyone I suppose who since the game happened was just flat, lethargic. Loads of people are saying, is the journey better than the destination now with the Premier League? And I, I still think there'll be great moments. I'm an optimist though. Join me for my stream Sunday night. Like I said, sorry to get getting uploaded late. I've only just finished filming it and I've got to edit it. So it will be a late one. But yeah, join me for my stream Sunday night. We'll play some AAFC. Talk about this game. And we'll also talk about Liverpool-Chelsea, which happens tomorrow. <sighs> for me, that's must win now. And also shout out to all the Everton fans because they were so good. They were so respectful and just... They conducted themselves proper. You know what I mean? They're just like, yeah, I rate that. I support that. So, fair play to them. I'll see you all real soon. But hopefully it's just win soon because it feels like a long time since we won. Because it is. It's like six months. <sighs> Thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you. If you click up there, you can watch another video of mine. Or if you've really enjoyed yourself, you can go down there, subscribe to the channel, and you can help me on my quest to change this Lego play button that YouTube sent me into a gold one.